Good morning, everybody. Today we will discuss on entropy, as prescribed in Semester Two Physics Complementary for Mathematics course under University of Kerala. Myself, Dr. Rakeshan Benesby, Assistant Professor of Physics, ST College, Alappuzha, Kerala. Topics covered are introduction and concept of entropy, change in entropy in a reversible cycle. Change in entropy in an irreversible cycle. Principle of increase of entropy, entropy and disorder, entropy and available energy, entropy temperature diagram, entropy and second law of thermodynamics, entropy changes in different thermodynamic processes. Coming to introduction. Before the concept of entropy, generally we used four thermodynamic variables. They are pressure, volume, internal energy, and temperature. Around in 1854, Rudolf Clausius introduced another concept, which is very useful in describing the thermodynamic process. Later on, in 1865, he called this new concept as entropy, denoted by the letter capital F. There is an important thing while considering this entropy, which is we can find the change in entropy, that is ds of the system. However, the absolute determination of entropy of the system is not possible. So, in short, if a system at a temperature t absorbs a small amount of heat dq during an infinitesimal reversible transformation. The entropy S of the system is defined as a quantity whose change is calculated by the relation d s equal to d q by t. Here, d s is positive if the system absorbs heat and is negative if the system rejects heat. It is measured in joule per kelvin. So, when a system passes from state one to the state two of a reversible process. The change in entropy of the system is given by ds, which is S2 minus S1, which is integral over state 1 to state 2, dq by t. So, from this relation, we can say the change in entropy of a system when it goes from one state to another is independent of the transformation it follows, which means is a property of the state of the system, just like the internal energy of the system, which is independent of how the system reached that state, either by a reversible or an irreversible process, it is immutable. Depends on only the final or it depends on only the initial and final state of the system. When a system describes a cycle, which means when it returns to its initial state, the change in entropy is zero. With this introduction, we can move on to the detailed portion of entropy. Hope you will enjoy. So, I am going to talk about entropy and change in the entropy, which is given by d is equal to dq by t. In the current class, we have to learn about isothermals, quadratics, heat engines, etc. So, coming to this session, Now, we have a PV diagram. You know, pressure on y-axis and V on x-axis. And I am drawing three isothermals at T1, T2 and T3 and two adiabatics. In Korea, the isothermals and adiabatics and the other ones are the same. The other ones are the same. Isotherm in the slope, adiabatic in the curve in the slope in the curve in the curve. So, I have moon isothermals very key on T1. This is first one, T1, T2, and T3. So, I draw three isothermals at T1, T2, and T3. In him, run the adiabatic so I can know. Drawing two adiabatics. 
which is a1 and a2 a1 no a2 ennu parayna rendu adiabatics varaikunu and these two adiabatics intersect the isothermal side these points a b c d e so the isothermal so the adiabatics intersect the isothermal side a b c d e and And this A B C D or D C E F, all these boxes represents the Carnot's reversible cycle, right? A B C D is a Carnot's reversible cycle. There is an isothermal expansion, adiabatic expansion, isothermal compression, adiabatic compression. Also, D C E F is an another Carnot cycle, Carnot's reversible cycle. So, from coming from the adiabatic A one to adiabatic a2 you could see isothermal expansion which means an amount of heat q1 is absorbed here from the adiabatic a2 to a1 layer to very important this is the isothermal compression during that time an amount of heat q2 rejects to the sink dcef and the cycle Along DC, Q2 in the Marina heat it absorbs. Along FC, Q2 in the Marina heat it rejects. Right. Q2 in the Marina heat absorbs. You know, FC element Q3 in the Marina heat rejects. So during this process, how many carbon per year? We can say Q1 by T1. Equal to Q2 by T. Right? Carnot cycle A, B, C, D, where it absorbs Q1, which is Q2. You could say Q1 by T1 equal to Q2 by T2. So, we need to see. Our efficiency of the Carnot engine derived in the same way. So, we proved that Q1 by Q2 equal to T1 by T2. Our other thing is. Q1 by T1 equal to Q2 by T2. In the next carbon cycle, DCFE, you can write the similar expression. What is that? Q2 by T2 equal to Q3 by T3. Then you can say Q3 by T3 equal to Q4 by T4 and so on. So in general, it is nothing but Q1 by T1 equal to Q2 by T2 equal to Q3 by T3 so on very important relation on which means when you when the system changes from one adiabatic to another adiabatic A1 is in the A2 like a poem board either it absorbs some heat or it rejects some heat one thing is that Q1 on the other side heat absorbs it, and then it will Q2 on the other side heat rejects it. In the same way, it will be a constant diary. Q by T is a constant. And this constant term is called entropy. This constant term is called entropy. This constant term is called entropy. So, if S1 is a constant, represents the absolute value of the entropy along the adiabatics A1 and A2. A1 will be A2 will be the end of the adiabatics entropy will be S1 and S2 in the parallel. You could say what? S2 minus S1 equal to Q by T it is a constant. It is a constant. And this constant is called Entropy in general, the change in entropy is given by ds equal to dq by t. So, you know, mathematicians are not so you could say what is the total change? It is s1 to s2 ds equal to what is the integral a1 first adiabatic to next second adiabatic a2 dq by t. So, what is the answer? Integral over the limits dq by t. Is a definite quantity, right? 
which depends on the initial and final value. That's why we are saying that the entropy of a system depends on initial and final and not on the path follow or not on the transformation it follows. So the entropy of the system is a finite quantity independent of the path taken for the change. This is called the entropy of the system. 